Can I make like a snow a snowman? You can make whatever you want. Today we're mashed potato sculpting for homecoming. At first I was a little apprehensive. I was like, touching these wouldn't be fun, but it's actually not that bad. Kind of just like a giant ball of play doh. We just grab some potatoes. You can use the food coloring or all kinds of accoutrements that we have available for you. Um, as you can see by my little sculpture here, we have some glitter and some wiggly eyes. Um, but there's so much more that we have available. I made purple mashed potatoes, <laughs> which Beth says is quite unique because normally people don't think to mix colors. But I, I'm thinking about making a unicorn, maybe. <laughs> I'm attempting to make a basketball, I think. Um, it's not really working too well for me. Well, we try to make them extra stiff, but um, today, this today, they're a little warmer than usual, so we brought out some flour to stiffen them up even more. But I like my. I want to say we have a total of 25 pounds. It's just messy, and you're not really used to sculpting with food. At least I'm not. Have you ever done this before? No, I, I have not sculpted mashed potatoes, although I have played with food in general. The theme of homecoming is uh, where stars are born, so if they incorporate that into their mashed potato sculpture, that's kind of part of the judging today. I think this is a pretty unique event here to our campus. I think homecoming is going to turn out well, but I think my master potato sculpture is going to turn out either okay or not okay. We'll, we'll see. I'm not the best artist, but I'm going to give it a try. <laughs>